Hey, welcome to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. I'm Tony Gary, your host. Uh, always check the show notes to see if there's a link. Uh, you may be able to get one of the Memorizing Pharmacology books for free if you've never been an Audible member before. And again, the best way to succeed in pharmacology class is to have already taken pharmacology. And any of these books can be listened to in a weekend or a week of going back and forth. So with that, welcome to the show. Hey, in this episode 85, uh, Pharmacokinetics versus Pharmacodynamics, Pharmacology Mnemonics, I wanted to make sure that you understand, one, the difference between the two things, but also how to remember uh, what the difference is and, and what the important components of pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics are. So let's start with what pharmacokinetics really is. It's just a combination of two words. There's pharmacology, which is pharma, pharmaco, which is drugs, and then logi, which is study of. So study of drugs, because with Latin, we turn things around. Kinesiology is the study of movement. So if you know a kinesiology major, you know, they're helping you work out in those things. So I've got my, my little um, owl here studying and then uh, a runner here. So uh, study of drugs and movement. So when you go to pharmacokinetics, it's the study of drug movement. Okay. So what does that mean practically? Well, there's four big pieces to it. And there's an order to it. So we want to use the ADME mnemonic, A, D, M, E. So A for absorption, D for distribution, M for metabolism, and E for excretion. But what we also need to know, which we don't necessarily usually hear a mnemonic for, is what each goes with. So absorption goes with small intestine. That's usually where it is. It's not the stomach. It actually, the, the most absorption is small intestine uh, because there's a lot more surface area there. Distribution is the blood. Again, blood is a tissue. Metabolism is the liver. Then it goes to the kidney. So we want to imagine this medication going into the small intestine, being absorbed into the blood, going to the liver, and then being excreted from the kidney. So how do we remember that? I use small i blinked uh, as my mnemonic. So small i for small intestine. The B for blood. The L-I-N is in liver, then, and then K-I-D is the end of blinked. I get that blinked is spelled B-L-I-K, B-L-I-N-K-E-D, not B-L-I-N-K-I-D, but go with me here. So absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion is small intestine, blood, liver, then kidney. Pharmacodynamics, though, is pharmacology. We've got our AL studying, study of drugs. But dynamics is a force that causes a system change effect. So one of those forces would be like a storm. So when we're talking about pharmacodynamics, we are talking about the effects of drugs. Okay, so what effects is this drug going to have on the system, which is your body? Okay, so what we do is we have to figure out first is that drug an agonist or an antagonist we won't get into partial agonist right now so an agonist is one that will activate something so if you've taken an inhaler like albuterol pro air hfa that is a beta agonist that is going to activate your lungs and open them up an antagonist would be like a beta blocker like metoprolol that is going to affect your heart. It's going to block the heart's beta receptors, reducing heart rate. Okay, and then we get into you know how these can oppose each other. If you get something like propranolol, which also lowers heart rate at the same time that it's kind of blocking the lungs. So we won't get into that part, but that's pharmacodynamics. Okay, and a really good way that I've always seen this presented is in relationships, okay? So when you have a relationship dynamic, you're going to have a protagonist, this is the hero, and an antagonist, this is the villain. And if you've just seen um, Mario Brothers, which had Mario as the protagonist and Bowser as the antagonist, then you get what I'm talking about. One is a blocker, one is an activator, okay? So in relationship dynamics, a person is receptive to the protagonist, the hero, and not to the antagonist, and that conflict drives the story. In pharmacodynamics, we're just changing the word. The receptor is receptive to the drug agonist, 
not the antagonist. And so the antagonist blocks the effect and then causes the opposite. So let's go back to our idea of the lungs and the heart. If we have an agonist that opens up the lungs, the antagonist would close up the lungs. If we have an antagonist that lowers heart rate, then an agonist would increase heart rate. So let's not use the words good and bad. We're just going to use the words agonist and antagonist as activate or block. Okay, But that's what pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics are. Thanks for listening to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. You can find episodes, cheat sheets, and more at memorizingpharm.com. Again, you can sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Thanks again for listening.